everyone for holding. We are now joined with head coach Dennis Franchoni of Texas State. If you have a question for Coach Franchoni, please press star 1 to get in the queue to ask questions at this time. The Bobcats are preparing for a Thursday night game against Louisiana Monroe. This week, uh, that game will be televised on ESPNU and will kick off at 8.30 p.m. Central Time from San Marcos, Texas. Uh, Coach, before we get started with questions, please give us your thoughts on the upcoming game against Louisiana Monroe. Well, certainly uh, <clears throat> feel for Todd Berry, um, class individual and great person, and uh, did a lot there at Monroe, and uh, will be disappointing to not see him at the game and see his face on the other sideline. Have such high regard for him and respect, and uh, such a good coach, fine person, and and um, just want to. Want people to know that John Mumford will do a good job, and he's an old gorilla like me. And uh, you know, John's a veteran, and so we we know the Warhawks will be well prepared and uh, and fight hard. And they're probably a lot like us, maybe a better team than their record has shown. Thank you, Coach Franchoni. Our first questions come from Adam Hunsaker with the Monroe News Star. Adam, please go ahead. I guess. I just had a um, had, had a question for you regarding to being on the other side of this. Um, you know, now that you're going to be playing the team that you know made a change and had an interim head coach, how does, does that affect your preparation at all, or do you worry about maybe seeing something from them they haven't shown before or anything in that regard? Well, I think the thought crosses your mind, but with such a short week, it's really hard to do much different. Uh, at least it is for us. Uh, you know, but it, it could happen. I mean, you know, like Coach Mumford would certainly want to put his stamp on it for his players, and and I understand that. Um, so you know, we could, you kind of have some of those thoughts that you have to prepare for. All right, Coach. Thank you. You bet. Thank you, uh, thank you, Adam. And um, our next questions come from Doug Roberson with the Atlanta Journal Constitution. Doug, please go ahead. Hey, Coach, uh, without going into specifics, can you just share the different the number of different tactics y'all tried against Georgia State to try to slow down the passing game last week? Well, I, I don't know the exact number off my head. We, you know, we, we tried a number of different coverages, but um, obviously to no avail. Our Buckles really a great quarterback. I think maybe the best in the conference. I know some other guys would – have some guys that they would nominate for that, and we haven't seen everybody live yet. But gosh, he played great and had such a command of things, and it really didn't matter. It seemed to matter what we did, and we couldn't get a pass rush on it. The offensive line did a great job, and we we didn't move him off his spot very many times. And when he did, he was smart enough to throw it away. So we threw everything we had. We're we're a little more limited maybe because of the changes that mm-hmm. we had and the injuries we've had. Um, you know, and how much we can throw at anybody, but uh, certainly we, we did all we had. Thank you, sir. You bet. Thank you, Doug, and uh, thank you, Coach Franchione. That's all the time we have for today. We appreciate it.